a quick video just showing uh, the functionality that's in our Power BI um, football report, which is really aimed at bringing um, a ton of stats to you around uh, all, all of the sort of major leagues um, by team, um, including seasons back to 2012. Uh, so we've got the Bundesliga, the Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Championship. Um, there are also some links uh, on, the, on the people up here. So you've got the Dutch League, the French League, uh, League One and League Two from the English divisions. Um, and really where I want to start is just taking you through some of the functionality because I don't want this to be a long video. I just want to show you uh, really how you get the most out of this report. So if I just dive into the dynamic league tables, <clears throat> what you're going to see here is you've got three different, broadly three different league tables that you can go to. Uh, this first one shows uh, obviously just a normal league table, but you get the form guide. So the last eight games, you can switch between the last eight home games, last eight away games or the last eight um, all games. This tells you the number of points scored in those last eight games by the teams. Um, and really with 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 any table in, in this report, you can uh, you can click on any of the columns to sort by that column. So if you were interested in seeing who's conceded the most goals per game, you click on the column header and it sorts that column. So Aston Villa kind of top of that uh, league that you don't want to be top of. Uh, click on it again, it sorts it in ascending order as opposed to descending order. Uh, and, and you can do that on any, 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 of these, uh, any of these columns. I'll just put it back on league position for now. <clears throat> as you hover over the last eight games, by the way, oops, sorry, done that the wrong way around. As you hover over the last eight games, um, it tells you what the what the score was, whether it was home or away, and who it was against. Um, and you can go to any of the different divisions that we've got data for here, and any of the different seasons. You've also got time slider in the in the top corner here, where you can um, you can change the league table date. So if you wanted to go back to Christmas, for example. Uh, on the, Got American dates in here at the moment. Didn't mean to do that. I'll change that. Um, there we go. Well, roughly Christmas. Um, so that's the after seventeen games. That's how the league table looked. So you play around with that as, as you like. Um, the league table that focuses more on goals. That one is more of a service telling you the first half goals, second half goals, percentage of goals in each half, and then goals conceded as well. Again, you can sort by the columns um, and you can change this one between teams, home performance and away performance, um, or just go with all games. And then this third league table focuses in on the sort of game statistics. So whether both teams scored, <clears throat> uh, which teams won to nil, which teams won both halves and so on. Uh, have a look, obviously, in your own time. Uh, what I wanted to show you as well on these on all of these league tables and, and any really any table within this report, if you right click, you can drill through to say season by fixture. So uh, I think I was on Leicester, I'll just make sure. If I go through to Leicester, drill through season by fixture. Uh, this shows you Leicester's um, performance, uh, you know, fixture by fixture, obviously. Um, and then from this table, given that you're now at a, a fixture level, you can right click on here and drill through to the individual match statistics, which is a page that looks like that. So <clears throat> gives you the total shots, home and away, shots on target, corners, um, it tells you the halftime score, and there's a bit of um, sort of bookie information here. So that's the average of um, the bookies that we've got, which includes Bet365 and Betway, uh, William Hill, uh, Victor Chandler, um, this shows you the previous six games for the team that you kind of came to the page from. So that was Leicester. Um, and then also in this case, showing Chelsea's last six games. You've got a back button in the corner here. And um, on every page, you've got BI Horizons logo that takes you back to the, to the main page here. So if I just go back into there, you can also right click from here and drill through to cumulative stats. So, this is showing you, you've got a whole range of different stats that you can have a look at here. So if we go on uh, goals scored, for example, this shows you the cumulative number of goals scored and it shows you that Leicester are kind of third in that ranking. If you look at um, corners won, that's the total number of corners they've won. And in this case, they're seventh 
in that table. You've got corners conceded, you've got yellow cards. Um, and really this page, you, you've also got home and away. Um, so you can see their home performance or their away performance. Obviously down the bottom here, you've got whether the result was a win, lose or draw. Um, and then if you hover over, you get a sort of preview of that um, match analysis page as well. And you can hover over the, the dots or the or the bar, uh, the columns at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> you've also got a, a switch here to go to the statistics per game rather than the totals. So we're on yellow cards at the moment, showing you really that Leicester on average get kind of one yellow card per game. Uh, that, that might be different away from home. 1.3 and at home it's going to be 1.7-ish, 0.8. Um, so you can have a look at you know shots on target per game that sort of stuff all the all the other things that you you may want to um add to your kind of bet slip when you when you're looking at the fixed trust um so really powerful page that um this this gives you the the kind of ranking you've got a bit of information about overall form home form away form i'll just go back there's a a few a few tables showing the um result spreads so half time full time win win you know Loss, draw, uh, win, loss, all that sort of good stuff. You've got home, home and away slicer on here. There's also a table that shows you the score spreads where you're actually going down to the, the actual score. And it's a bit of a heat map that tells you what you know what happened most frequently. This this particular table is by season. So it tells you, it just gives you an idea about whether you know two one away wins are they they seem to be pretty pretty regular for um pretty regular scores in terms of away wins. You can select, you know, obviously a, a specific team and you can go to any particular league you want. And then the last one is the same table, but by league. Um, so you select your season here and it shows you how the different leagues compare in terms of results. Um, you can kind of collapse these down as well. So if you want to look at the sort of subtotals. Okay, so loads of tons to look at in there as well. Um, match stats, this is all of those things that we've kind of seen in some of the other pages, but by by team with a heat map, so you can see where teams have won to nil most most frequently. You can see where the score draws are. Arsenal having a lot of score draws. They actually had a lot of two twos, I think. Um, both teams to score down here, um, and then again, as with the other pages, you've got kind of date ranges that you can play around with if you wanted to see the last. Um, it's a bit funny at the moment. That's the seventeenth of June. Uh, but if you wanted to see, just 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 with the COVID break, I mean, um, so that's from Christmas to now sort of thing. You know, you can change these date ranges, um, and you can also right click on any of these stats. So if we look at Arsenal's score draws, well, actually score draws isn't a great one to draw through on. I'll show you why. Um, so you can go through to the selected stat by fixture, and really all you get here is it highlights the fact that they are all score draws, both teams to score. Um, obviously, if it's score draw. Which uh, which games were um, teams scored in both halves, and which teams uh, which games teams conceded in both halves? So again, just just um, highlighting the fact that you can right click and draw through to to different things from a from a table. Any of these stats, and then what we've got here a bit of a a nod to uh, 1980s uh, Jim Berrin's bullseye. Um, we've done this prize board because we've got kind of bookies information in here, so. This allows you to see what you could have won or lost. Um, you've got home teams down the left. You've got the away team across the top. So, for example, uh, Wolves famously beat Manchester City away. I think it was, um, was it 2-0? Uh, you would have won um, £211 from a £10 stake on that. And you can change the options. Uh, so I'll, sorry, I'll just drill through to show you um, the match stats from there. Yeah, two nil away win, nil nil at half time. Odds of twenty to one on that happening, or twenty to one on, on the away win, not on the two nil. Um, <clears throat> so, so the way we we've put this together is you can select um, a particular home team if you just wanted to look at one particular home team, say Chelsea. Then this this just goes Chelsea only, and then the teams that they played, and when you would have won your bet. This is assuming that you bet you betted with the bookies underdogs. Um, so in that case, I'm guessing Bournemouth would have been the underdogs here. Chelsea at home, Bournemouth away, and Bournemouth must have won that game. 
one now, right? So um, you, you can change whether you want to look at, okay, what would have happened if I bet on um, home wins? These are all the ones you would have won. So this, this is where the home team won every game. And, and the red ones are the ones where you would have lost. So Sheffield United. So Arsenal didn't beat Sheffield United at home. Uh, I don't know what the score was. and I don't, I don't want to make this video too long, so I won't pause too long on it. But you can also, so if you say here you went for home wins, you could have a look at what if the result was a home win, in, in which case you would have won every bet. And in total, you would have won £1,600 from your... Uh, 130 10, 10 pound stakes. You can look at draws. You can look at um, draws where the bookies' favourite was a home win. Obviously, you would have lost every bet there. But um, so if the bookies' favourite was a home win and you went for home wins, you wouldn't have won them all. But uh, you went for home win. Yeah, sorry. Um, you've gone for home wins. The bookies' favourite was a home win. The result was anything. So obviously, you don't win every. One, in fact, you would have been £176 down. So, again, loads to look at on there. Um, go through it in your own time. And then these links take you through to the individual leagues. So when you go here, you go into a league table and then you drill through from a team. This actually takes you to the Premier League and then you choose which team you want to look at. Um, slightly different way of getting to the same information. Um, but... It's just kind of a quicker way of getting to that information for a specific league. So if you're just looking at um, Premier League fixtures that you're trying to find some stats on, that's probably the best way to get to it. And I'll stop there. I mean, we want to do loads more work on this over the coming weeks and months. Um, you know, we want to add in player information. We want to uh, we want to do a lot more with the kind of bookies information, pulling out the really strong statistics that are going to help you make decisions about where you want to kind of place your stakes and all that sort of stuff so uh, any feedback you can give us would be much appreciated any any uh, any suggestions that you've got we'll uh, we'll try and accommodate them you know if there's certain views that you'd like to see but for now just really hope you enjoy using it and uh, it'd be great to hear your thoughts thank you